Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the review report, your go-to channel for the latest tech reviews and recommendations. Today, we're diving into the Amazon Fire TV Cube, the latest offering from Amazon streaming device lineup. Does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. The Fire TV Cube has undergone a much needed refresh after three years of little development. Featuring an updated design, a faster processor, and Wi-Fi 6E support. Packed with features, this streaming device comes at a premium price of 14,420 rupees. But does it justify the higher cost compared to its sibling, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max? Let's explore. Visually, the Fire TV Cube sports a cube-shaped design. Wrapped in a stylish fabric mesh that sets it apart from its predecessors. It offers a generous selection of ports, including HDMI in and out. A power socket, an IR extender port, USB-A, and Ethernet. You can navigate apps, control your TV, ask questions, set timers, and even order from Amazon using voice commands. When it comes to AV features, the Fire TV Cube supports 4K streaming with HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HLG. It delivers immersive audio with Dolby Atmos support. However, there are some minor issues with automatic Dolby Vision switching, which can be manually adjusted in the settings menu. The Cube is powered by an octa-core processor, offering smooth performance and seamless navigation through the Fire OS interface. Speaking of the Fire OS, Amazon has built a robust ecosystem over the years, ensuring extensive app compatibility. You'll find popular streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Apple TV+, and region-specific apps such as BBC iPlayer, ITVX, All4, and My5. It also supports a range of music streaming services, although Apple Music is not yet available. It's worth noting that you'll need to purchase iTunes content through a compatible device. Now, let's talk about picture performance. The Fire TV Cube delivers sharp and clean visuals, with good detail and defined outlines. Skin textures and environmental elements appear well rendered. However, when it comes to colors and contrast, the cube falls slightly short. The overall image lacks vibrancy and punch, resulting in a relatively flat and unengaging experience. In comparison, the Apple TV 4K offers a more captivating and nuanced picture. Moving on to sound, the Fire TV Cube's audio presentation is suitable for movies and TV shows, but it doesn't excel in music playback. While the vocals are clear, the overall sound lacks texture and dynamics. The Cube fails to capture the emotional depth and subtle nuances of tracks, leaving them sounding flat and lacking in impact. In contrast, the Apple TV 4K provides a more engaging and dynamic audio experience. Considering the price point, the Fire TV Cube doesn't quite justify its cost compared to the more affordable Fire TV Stick 4K Max. While it offers impressive features and Alexa integration, the picture quality and sound performance leave something to be desired. If you're committed to the Amazon ecosystem, the Stick 4K Max provides better value for your money. Alternatively, the Apple TV 4K delivers superior audio and visual performance for a similar price. So, when it comes to choosing your streaming device, you may want to consider your priorities and preferences. That wraps up our review of the Amazon Fire TV Cube. While it brings some exciting features and the convenience of Alexa voice control, it falls short in terms of picture quality and sound performance compared to its competitors. If you're looking for a premium streaming experience, you may want to explore other options. Thanks for joining us on the review report. If you found this review helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tech reviews. Let us know in the comments below which streaming device you prefer and any questions you have. Until next time, stay tuned and stay tech savvy.